Hi guys! Once again, I'm back with a new creative idea about how to make fabric shopping bags. And to make these environment friendly stuff, I've used my old pillowcases. Because it's very simple to make in just five simple steps. You will need two pillow covers, glue and scale, pins, a cardboard, scissors, measuring tape, chalk, needle and thread, and the velvet adhesive sheets, designed laces. Our step number one, we are going to make two shopping bags. For one, we are going to use the glue method and the second one, we are going to stitch the bag. Now we are going to measure the length and the width of the pillow cover that is 20 inches long and 13 inches wide. What we are going to do is we are going to mark 1 inch border on all the three sides that is the base and the sides. We are not going to mark it on the top because these are the sides, the space to hold the things inside the bag. Now from that 1 inch border of the base, we are going to measure the top and on top we are going to mark 2 inches border. You can see I have marked 2 inches border on top and I am going to cut it off. Moving on to our step number 2. And we are going to separate this extra portion and use it to make the handle of the bag. Now here I am going to overleaf both the bags to make the base of the bag that we had marked earlier. Now as you can see these are the two corners of the bag. To mark the edges of the corners, I am going to use a measure tape. Number 1 in the center and number 2 on the other corner and 0 at the beginning of the triangle. As you can see, these are 2 inches broad and I am going to just tuck in the pins after marking it. As you can see, these are 2 inches wide and you need to mark the same on the other side as well. Since we are using two methods, I've already glued one bag and for the second one, I am going to stitch the corners of the bag. You may use hand stitches or you may use your sewing machine to stitch the corners of the base of the bag. Here's the step number three. We're going to measure the base that we have just stuck, that is 2 into 11 inches. We're going to mark it on a cardboard. That 
so our base plates are ready we need to fix it so for that we are going to overleaf both the bags again Number four, we need to tailor or we need to fix the top opening of the bags. For that, we are going to mark one inch and two inches. The reason is our first inch is going to be a inner fold, and our second fold is going to be the final fold. And after that, we are just going to tuck in the pin so that it becomes easy for us to glue it or to stitch it. bag where I had glued the base corners I'm going to use the glue for the entire bag and I'm going to remove the pins and apply the glue on all sides Here we have come to our last and final step number 5. The leftover cloth that we had cut off from the top of the pillow car that we are going to fold it into half and cut it and make the handles. As you can see we need two handles from for both the sides. So I am going to fold the corners for both the sides and just join them and pin it up. Now the bag that is to be glued, we are going to glue the corners of the handle and the one that is to be stitched, we are going to stitch it later on. Now as you can see, I am going to remove the pin and glue the corners, the joints throughout. We just need to fix those handles. Now I'm just showing you the one we have tailored. The stitched handles will be joined to the one the stitched bag and the one we had prepared with the glue. We are going to fix it on the bag that is made completely out of the glue. Just pin it up and later on we can join these handles using the glue.
we have fixed our handles on both the bags now to cover these glue marks we will use a decorative lace final touch here i have the velvet adhesive sheets i'm going to cut it off and i'm going to make a youtube logo for my bag to decorate it this is the base of the tube and the white sheet i'm using i'm going to measure it first that should fix on that red sheet and as you know i am writing it on the back side of the paper so all the alphabets will be on facing the other side 